So here are the four sieves that I think we really need to watch out for. The Sioux, obviously to no one's surprise, the Sioux are obviously really dominant. And I think I figured that. I think we all kind of figured that the Sioux and Sitting Bull were going to be uh, an awesome power right there in the middle of this map. And then of course the Shoshone, they're doing good because they're, they're moving in towards the Chinook tribe in the north as well as they can still colonize parts of California. I know that, you know, the Zapotec are kind of cutting them off here, but they still have possibilities uh, of grabbing more land. Of course the French, because they have the same opportunity of grabbing more land in the north. Uh, they can declare war on a very unstable northern Mexico region. Uh, and then finally the Iroquois. I mean, they don't have a big military, but they're just continuing to colonize. They're just an AI that wants to always pick up land. And actually, let's go ahead and review over some of those predictions, and let's look at the info addicts, because I did promise you guys it's about turn, it's almost two, turn 200, we're three turns off, but still. Uh, so population, the Sioux are in fact winning, and that's one Civ that I am kind of, uh, not the Sioux, the Cree, or one Civ that I probably, I'm not giving them as much credit as I should. They have a huge military, and they are able to defend against the Sioux, as we talked about uh, briefly at the end of that last video. The Korea are the only ones I think that could stand up to the Sioux, because, you know, their, their cities are in awesome spots to be able to really defend, and, and it'd just be tough for an AI to navigate, but also they have a pretty big military themselves. Uh, the, the Anishinaabe, are doing a great job as well. They've, they're, they're, I mean, anyone that's in the, t the 10 millions at the moment are, are really good. The Denny's seem to be going for a cultural victory, surprisingly enough. Uh, they got their first, I think they're the first Civ to get influential with somebody else. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's with the Aztecs, but we'll check on that a little bit later. So, Crop Yield, the Sioux, the Denny, the Shoshone, and the Cree. Okay, it's very similar to population. Manufactured goods. Uh, I imagine this is going to be similar. Oh, no, the Mayan are actually in the fourth spot. Um, but really, I mean, the two big ones to watch out for, the Shoshone and the Sioux. Over 100 production more, almost 100 more than the Denny, who's in third place. Crazy. Uh, GNP, Cree are making a lot of money. The French are making a lot of money. Uh, military manpower, this is what I want to look at. The Sioux. The Cree, that's what I figured, something like that, and that, they're actually really close, surprisingly. Yeah, about 40, 30,000 men off, but still pretty pretty insane. Uh, America, wow, I never realized how good America's doing. And they did upgrade to riflemen, as you can see. They had their Minutemen out there for uh, so in the last video, but it must have just upgraded recently. Shoshone doing a great job too, even though they've been at war with the Chinook tribe in the north for a very, very long time. Uh, the Mayans are surprisingly doing really well, even though they can't really, you know, to protect their capital, pretty surprising there, the Anishinaabe. Um, even though, I mean, that's another, I mean, kind of bonehead mistake they made in the last video. They weren't able to take anything from England. Uh, Spain's doing good. Anyways, let's uh, let's go on to social standing. Sue still out there. Yeah, I think we have, I think we have our our sieve that that is dominating. Our, that's at least starting to dominate the sewer in the third place spot in terms of technologies overall. Uh, actually, they're tied for first. They're not in third. They're tied for first. It's America, England, and the Sioux. Then we have Canada, France, the Cree. Uh, now, who is below? Uh, Spain is still all the way down here at 43. They got caught fast. Uh, Mexico's not doing so well either. Um, so one thing I want to mention is that uh, the, the reason why... So some people thought that I'd, I should make the... Uh, I should have given the Europeans and, 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 and their colonies more power, more, more technologies. And I, here's the thing. I, I knew that these nations were going to get caught. I knew that obviously when I, when they settled their city, they weren't going to be able to keep up with the you know that amount of science that they would have you know been forced to. Um, so you know I, I, I or to be able to generate per turn. So I knew that the natives were going to catch them, and that's what I wanted. I, I didn't want for because here's the thing: if the Europeans and their colonies were given any more bonuses than that, then this game would have been ended so early because they would just would have you know won a science victory. You know what I mean? It wouldn't have even been a game. I wanted to see. I wanted to see the the tribes of, of North America actually play an impact, and and I was rooting for them to like have sort of an alternative scenario here. Um, I I didn't want to see just tribes getting rolled over, and I didn't want to for sure see an easy science victory from France or Spain or America or Canada, whatever it may be. So I'm glad that they caught up, and I'm glad that this is now a game. I thought the Europeans and their colonies would have done more damage in the very beginning. Um, Mexico tried. Mexico was one of the only that tried. Well, I mean, uh, England tried as well, but I just, I, you know, early game expansion for the AIs really messed up in Civ 5, and uh, that sucks because the initial plan was to have these guys go to war early. Uh, that would have been their redeeming quality. If America took a, you know, a bunch of cities from the Iroquois, then boom, then they, you know, obviously they'd get caught later on, but that's still fine. They made it worth it. 
Um, now, like, it's kind of a level playing field at the moment. It's kind of all leveled. Uh, and, and the Europeans and their colonies did not take up the opportunity enough. And I, it's just kind of the thing. It's just like, for some reason, the AI in Civ Five does not like to war before turn 100. And I, I, there's got to be a mod for it. I'll probably look into it um, for the next AI-only campaign. But it's, it's, it's unfortunate. But it's going to be close. It is certainly going to be close. We'll have to check on the victory types here. But I do want to check one thing. Um, let's go ahead and double-check here the uh, cultural overview screen. Actually, I can't even click that. Why can't I click that right now? Mm, that's weird. This button is totally not opening. Well, whatever. I guess we don't need that button then. We'll wait and see. France is uh, in Canada have signed a research agreement, I believe that said. Well, let's get rid of that. Why was that here? I don't know. Let's get rid of that. And see, and, and, and as I said in the intro, France really can just continue to colonize. I mean, the Iroquois are going to continue to colonize. As you can see, they are. Oh, America's about to get over here too. Oh, so you're going to have some really messed up borders now. You're talking about some messed up borders. England has publicly denounced Isabella. Uh, I, I get that because... England's down to two cities because their Florida colonies were taken away. Hastings and Nottingham, which Spain absolutely desperately needed. Uh, I think, honestly, at the, at the moment, I don't know. It's kind of a tie between Mexico and England being among the weakest powers so far um, in, in terms of, you know, Europe and, and the nations of, of, North, uh, of North America. So what happened here? Oh, and that's what I figured. The Sioux did, in fact, declare war on the Shoshone. This is a big, big deal. Because now the Sioux can easily roll through these two cities that are completely undefended. Um, and it's just it's just west of the massive Sioux Empire. Like, why? I, I guess, oh, well, you know, they do have open borders, it looks like, through Mayan territory. So they're not going to let them go down. They're not going to go down without a fight. They will not let those two cities fall without some sort of resistance. And that's, there's going to be an interesting battle here. Now, if I were the Cree, I would look into this. Now, we all know the AI can't see what we're seeing they don't have you know they don't have the fog of war removed but i i'm wondering if they know i'm wondering how much they know do the Cree know and they do they realize that just the sioux and the shoshone are at war and and do they realize that both of their army sizes if they knew both of that i'm wondering if the Cree would be more willing to uh to maybe place a war in the east of the sioux empire so uh as we saw uh the Cree. Wait a second, the Cree, oh, there's, now there's five civs in the top spot. Oh, England's doing pretty well, actually, uh, in technologies. I think that they're going to to start to drop off, though. So, yeah, five civs at 45 technologies discovered. Let's see who's at the bottom besides me. Uh, Montezuma, the Zapotec, yeah, because, I mean, they took cities back, but they're still having some problems here. Uh, that's not surprising, the Iroquois, but 42, you know, three techs behind the first place uh, civs, not a big deal. So, I think the Iroquois are going to catch up. If, if someone doesn't start to take cities away from the Iroquois, that's going to be a bad, bad situation uh, because the Iroquois have, I think, the most cities in the game, which, as I discussed earlier on, that actually helps an AI. More cities actually helps an AI in terms of science and, and cultural victory, all that stuff. Um, AIs definitely benefit more than a, than a human player would, I, I would say, uh, depending on the amount of cities they control. Mm, I think there might be a possible American war gearing up soon. Let's check on a few more of those categories because I know that I skipped out on there. That's what I wanted. Cities. The Iroquois are at 11. The Sioux are at 10. The Sioux might potentially uh, potentially take up that first place spot away from Hiawatha uh, only because the Shoshone are going to lose two. They'll go down to eight with France. Uh, I'm surprised that France has got a two in fourth place. Pretty pretty amazing stuff. America's doing good at seven, uh, with seven cities. Atlanta, Philadelphia, Seattle, Boston, Washington, Chicago, and New York. Uh, and it seems like most of the units are actually maybe thinking about going after the Iroquois. And the thing is, the Iroquois, with this massive empire, ooh, yep, that fell fast. Yeah, Pocotillo, Pocotillo's uh, first city fell really, really fast. And actually, that was the northern city. Oh, that's that's gone. That city is gone next turn. Right here. I wouldn't be surprised for it. 54 combat city defense? Or just 54 city defense? I, I know. There's no way. I can't see it happening. Mexico and France have finally peaced out. Good for you, Mexico. Survive. Live to see another day. Yep, so uh, this is going to get taken. I'd say right now. Oh, no, no, no. Wow. Okay, well, maybe... No, because city defense goes down. I don't know how they took it that fast, but it, they probably got luckier with the uh, unit placement or something like that. 
Okay, let's uh, go ahead and remove these resources icons. I kind of had them on for a little bit too long. We should probably check. I need to go and discover uh, oil and coal because it is getting around that time as well as uranium. And, and that's something that this is a modded map. So I'm not sure exactly how much of those resources were put into this game. So it could be limited. And I always love scarce strategic resources. That, to me, is really, really fun. Uh, so the Shoshone have grabbed the World's Fair. That's going to offer them 100% culture um, for the next 20 turns. Good for them. Canada's gotten second place, as well as the Denny, Maya, Iroquois, Washington, the Chinook, and the Cree have gotten silver. Second place, giving them a free social policy, as well as, of course, 500 points towards their next Golden Age, which all of the bronze people get. Uh, only Sue and the French decided to go for the uh, third place spot. Everyone else, they tried, but they didn't really do much. Oh, no, England didn't even try. Well, that's smart of Elizabeth. I mean, if you know you're not going to do it, then don't even try. So the Shoshone are finally starting to meet the Sioux tribe, and actually, it looks like uh, the Sioux are heavily, have, have heavy technology advantages here with their riflemen, just against, like, musket men. That's not going to be a problem. No, I mean, especially because they've, the, they've got the numbers on their side, too. Okay, so will the Shoshone attempt to take back this city? instead of going after Sioux troops. And, and how many units are going to be lost here? England's built the Louvre here. That's cool. Too many here's. I'm sorry. France and Mexico have uh, made a declaration of friendship. Whoa. Wow, so no hard feelings, I guess. Okay. Anishinaabe and Canada have signed a research agreement. This is a fun campaign because there are so many nations that are kind of powerful. Like, obviously, I think we all can agree that the Sioux are kind of in that top spot. But at the same time... There are still a lot of other nations that, boom, yep, there goes uh, the final Shoshone city in the eastern part of their empire. And But they're, I mean, they're going to try to take it back. The Cree are strong, too. I'm so disappointed so far that the Cree, the, Anishina the, Ana the Anishinaabe, uh, the Iroquois, Canada, England, no one is, I, look at all the nations around here. They have not colonized this area. It's very strange. Oh, as I was saying, uh, I love when a map has a limited amount of strategic resources. Like, obviously, I hate it when there's a limited amount of luxury resources because that's not even fair at that point. Um, but strategic resources, yeah, like, I, I like it when there's only, a, you know, a few nations that can actually build uranium. It seems more realistic to me. I don't want everyone to build the Manhattan Project. I don't want, every, well, I mean, that usually ends up happening no matter what. But uh, I, I just, I don't want everyone to have nukes. I feel like it should be... You know, in this scenario, maybe like four nations to get nukes, you know, or have access to uranium at least, and uh, giving them access to nukes. I know that maybe trade deals could could potentially throw that all off, but I'm just saying that's just I, I enjoy those scenarios. France and the Anishinaabe, the Anishinaabe have signed a research agreement, okay, and uh, Washington still remained pretty peaceful, not doing anything, just kind of chilling, watching over Grand River, probably getting ready, licking his chops. Oh, the Sioux have given the Shoshone peace. Oh, man. Okay, so what does this mean? So here's the thing. I think the Mayan... Now, my biggest worry right now is that the Mayan are going to completely fall to the Sioux. And these are five cities that they could take up right now. Uh, Second Congress of Ottawa. Cultural heritage sites. And then, yes, my, my own repeal of the banning of, of whales. Yeah, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Mexico's denounced the Aztecs. I'm worried about the Sioux just like taking this huge army and just like, all right, well, on to the next nation, and then just bam, 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 like boom, you know, taking out five cities easily. But I would, I would think that if that were to start to happen, I would think that the Shoshone would jump on board and be like, oh, I want some of those cities, and maybe take away a few to the south. I think that at the moment, the Shoshone are probably the only nation that can take on um, the Sioux tribe. I, I know that they need to get up a way bigger mil military, um, and I know I talked about how the Cree could could take on the Sioux, I think. But part of the reason why I think that they... I don't think they can take on the Sioux. I think they can defend against the Sioux. Uh, and that's only because of their city placement. Loon River is not in the best spot, uh, but their capital certainly is. Uh, th that's not possible. Without a navy, you are not going to take this over. And they do have one coastal city, the Sioux do, uh, within the, the shared Great Lake, but still, it's just it's not going to happen. I don't think so. Uh, the Shoshone, I think, could maybe develop an offensive military to go after and maybe push back Sitting Bull. But we'll have to wait and see. I'm not sure if he's going to actually do that. He might focus in on the Chinook of the North since they're already doing pretty poorly. Uh, the Aztecs have publicly denounced the Shoshone. Okay. And, uh, yeah, the Shoshone really need to get more of a military right now. Or they need to colonize California. Because if, if they don't start to colonize, the Zaptec are going to catch up really, really fast. I'm sure they're going to go after Baja, California at some point. That'll probably be their next... 
Well, it would be smart if they didn't colonize that region first, if they just continue to just like boom, boom, boom until they eventually blocked off the Shoshone. Although they might not want to do that because the Zapotec don't very much. They, they clearly don't have as powerful of an army. Very, I would say. I mean, they're still on pikemen. There's a few musket men around here, and that's pretty good. But uh, they've got the numbers. I don't know. It'd be close. The Shoshone don't have that big of a military as of right now. Spain and Mexico have signed a research agreement. Is Spain going to continue to uh, throw out settlers, or are they just going to chill? I see that they've got it. They're doing a lot with their cargo ships. Trading with uh, America and the Iroquois. New research agreements. France and Denny. Uh, Shoshone have denounced the Mayan. Well, maybe maybe it won't be the Sioux. You know, maybe, in fact, it might be the Shoshone that declare war on the on the Mayans here. I mean, they've already got the units. Okay, France and Denny, Denny signed a recent agreement. Shoshone has publicly denounced the Mayans. Okay, so the Sioux military is actually retreating back, going back up north, heading away from the Mayan Empire. I, I'm worried about that. I am worried about that because that, that could easily become a, a landslide victory. Ooh, the second coalition declared by... Uh, both the Shoshone and the Denny teaming up against the Chinook tribe. I I don't know. Denny doesn't have that big of a military, so I don't think this tribe is going to be able to do much. But it's all about the Shoshone. And I think that they could easily move up south. I mean, there's already roads connected here. It would be pretty easy just to boop, 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 you know, go straight up in there. Uh, let's see what this spy says about Washington. So Washington's playing against England. Interesting. I figured they, would, they might be doing that soon. Mexico signed a research agreement. Here is uh, San Francisco. Forward, forward expand or like forward what's that called uh forward settling just like the entire world here america that seems like i know i have random personalities on but it's weirdly enough washington still seems the exact same <laughs> okay so the second ideology has been chosen and it's been order it's actually order wow so we have one autocracy by the sioux and order from the french Mexico has publicly denounced the Shoshone. Spain and Canada have signed a research agreement. The Anishinaabe publicly denounced the Shoshone. And the Denny have publicly denounced the Mayans. Let's see what passes here. I'm sure cultural, her cultural heritage sites uh, will pass. I don't think people hate England as much as they did previously, so they actually might get their whales back. It's possible. Yeah, England, really what they need to do is they need to mass produce those ship of the lines. Um, they really they need to get as many of those as, as they can because... That, that could be a start. You know, you could pro possibly attack Toronto, possibly attack Kingston. Um, you know, because most, uh, most of the other AIs, they're not building a navy, which could be really smart of them. Yeah, so this repeal failed, and the cultural heritage sites failed. Wow, I thought that would, I thought that always passes. It was made by almost everybody except for Canada, England, and the Shoshone. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just probably do the same thing here. Because I don't think there's going to be anything... I just don't want to affect the game too much. That's the whole issue that I'm having. Don't want to affect the game too much. So if we were at 45 Technologies at the beginning of this video, um, we're about a little bit more than halfway through this campaign. It's turn 214. Uh, a cultural victory is probably more... I don't know. It's 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 very, very possible. Um, oh, gosh. The Kree. The Kree joined in. Just, just for no reason. Just because. Oh, that's smarter than Denny. Going after this... Uh, Nate, going after this city instead. And it would be good if they take this over, then they can maybe utilize the much stronger and larger Shoshone army when they get up towards the Chinook capital. Um, that would that would really help a lot. Okay, let's go to the next turn. Looks like I don't know if they're going to be able to do it, though. It's going to be close. Ooh, Mexico versus the Zapotec once again. Um, but... Wait a second, this is the first war they've declared. Yeah, this is not, one, once again, no, no, no. This is the first one they've declared this. Iroquois have, now, oh, they've chosen Order 2. So it looks like we might see a Iroquois-French alliance. I'm wondering if people are going to start to stay away from autocracy. Although, you know, the Sioux haven't been denounced, so I, I couldn't see people intentionally staying away from autocracy just because the Sioux picked it. Uh, now, obviously, if the Sioux were being denounced by the entire world, then yeah, I could see maybe why people would maybe not want to pick it. They don't want to join teams with somebody that, you know, most of the world doesn't like. Uh, the Zapotec seem to be, they're probably going to be pretty successful in this war. We'll have to keep an eye on it. The Anishinaabe publicly denounced the Mayan. Okay, let's continue on. We've got plenty of, they've got plenty of musket men. But they still got to fight back a few Mexican uh, unique units. Now we have the Anishinaabe and the Aztecs, but that doesn't mean too much. 
Oh, see, what is France doing? So clearly France isn't worried about the Cree. Uh, they're not worried about Spain either. Spain seems to be more worried about France than France does Spain. Uh, a lot of the units are focused around this region, and it looks like they're gearing up for maybe a second war against Mexico. Maybe they're going to try to take the Mexican ci uh, the Mexico City capital. The Mexican city capital, Mexico City. They're trying to maybe take that, possibly. Anyways, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.